Hi there, Orly here, and today I'm gonna walk you through some of the new features that we have in Soundbridge 2.6.1, including some new filters to find plugins and exciting updates from Rhythmix. Let's get into it. The first update is that we added filters for third-party plugins to organize and search for plugins by ascending alphabetical order, so A to Z, descending alphabetical order, so from Z to A, or by manufacturer name or by category. Next, we also added the ability to unbind shortcuts completely for any action in the Preferences Shortcuts menu. So for example, I can just use this button over here to unbind the shortcut. Now if I want to create a new one for this one, I just click again, add my new shortcut, and click Assign. Then we added a new state to the Automation Lanes button, allowing only utilized automation lanes to expand. So here, for example, we have no automation, all automation, only utilized automation lanes. Then we also added new snap selector options, Auto and Auto T, which auto adjust the grid based on the zoom level. Auto is for straight beats, while Auto T is for triplets. We also expanded the snap selector support to include a half triplet. It's also important to mention that the snap selector value now determines the block length in the sequencer, whether snap is on or off. We changed this to make things more consistent with the new auto snap features. Before, drawing blocks in the sequencer was always a bar length, now it adapts to the snap selector value. So for example, if I choose one, it'll be a whole measure. But if I choose an eighth, it'll just be an eighth of a measure. Moving on, we also made quite a few updates to Rhythmix. First, the ADSR curves are now inside the loop crop markers that you select for better visualization. Then the filter envelope amount is now bipolar, so you can modulate the filter cutoff in negative and positive directions, whereas before it was only one directional. Regarding the pitch envelope, we have optimized it and improved the allowed range so that no two octave limitation is imposed internally. You can now go up to four octaves and half semitones, depending on how you combine your parameters. Then we also added a new pink button here called the sequencer mode button. The sequencer mode button ignores pads set to loop mode and note off events that trigger the release of the envelopes on playback. This button ensures that when you drag out the MIDI from Rhythmix's 16-step sequence, the external MIDI playback is identical to what you created in Rhythmix. All right, and finally, the last update is that the swap button under playback in MPC pad section now swaps the 16-step sequence for the pad as well. Overall, we hope you enjoy and appreciate these improvements. We put a lot of hard work into them. Please see the release notes below for more details and let us know what you think in the comments. Until next time.